What's going on guys? This is Ryan with RK Outpost and this article right here is just uh, silly, insane, uh, unbelievable, whatever way you want to put it. And I talked about it a little bit in my morning box office video, but I kind of wanted to dive in deeper in why this article is absolute garbage, uh, especially with its comparison against Shazam. Now, you guys saw my review, hopefully on Birds of Prey. If you didn't, I'll include it in the description. Birds of Prey is not a good movie. It's not the worst movie ever made. It's not this overly, ridiculously woke messaging movie either. Uh, it's got a little bit of identity politics, not really hitting you over the head with it. Mostly, it's just a bad comic book movie that was really poorly marketed. But the idea that this could be true, Birds of Prey could still get a sequel, is ridiculous. Especially after the box office numbers we got today for its third week, where it's already lost hundreds and hundreds of theaters because no one's going to see it. But let's get into the article, and I'll talk about it. Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn, also rebranded as Harley Quinn Birds of Prey, because it wasn't sell, it wasn't bringing anyone to the theater, has crossed the $100 million mark globally. And of course, this was written uh, a day ago. It is, it's way more than that now. Uh, if you check the box office, you can see that it's actually $173 million globally, so way more than $100 million. While it didn't meet box office expectations, oh, and this surpassing its relatively small budget of $84.5 million. While it didn't meet box office expectations and is not yet broken even, most films need to make twice their budget to do so, usually more than twice the budget, that does not mean a sequel is out of the question. While some are deeming Birds of Prey a failure, this is not fair. It is currently grossed a fraction of what the most successful superhero movies have made. However, when compared to movies in general, it's on track to become a success. It re it's ridiculous that box office of 150 million plus is considered a disappointment, especially when Birds of Prey has one of the smallest budgets of any film in the DCU and has received mainly positive reviews. Um, it's all about your expectations, and it's all about what you spend on it. Now, with a budget, we'll get in the budget a little bit and why there's a discrepancy uh, between the 82.5 million or the 84.5 and what it actually costs to make it and then how much it actually needs to make to become profitable. And they're going to compare it against a movie like Shazam. And we will talk about it. By all means, Birds of Prey could still get a sequel, especially when other average performing films have gotten spinoffs. The Shazam spinoff, Black Adam, was confirmed prior to the release of the first film, despite no one knowing how well it would do at the time. Furthermore, that's not... But that's a t totally different character. That's not a Shazam spinoff. Black Adam was in development as a standalone movie, aside from Shazam. So that, in and of itself, is uh, not a good point. What's your name again? Sorry. Gotta remember. Caitlin Chappelle, or Caitlin Chapel, Whichever it is, not a great point there. Furthermore, Shazam has a sequel lined up, despite the film Modest Box Office in comparison to other superhero films. It even has a third film queued up, regardless of how the sequel turns out. Yet before Birds of Prey, it was the lowest grossing film in the DCEU with a global take of $225 million against a budget of $100 million. Now, this is a lie. It's a, f it's a freaking lie. Now, whether this is a lie because Caitlin Chapel is ignorant or deceptive, I don't know. But when you look, we can go and take a look here. And we see that Shazam... Uh, what did she say? $225 million globally? $225 million? It made $223 million internationally. But that's not globally, is it? Because you're not factoring the domestic numbers. You're doing that intentionally because you know Birds of Prey is not even going to get to that. So that's what you want to put in people's minds. Isn't that right, Caitlin? Because there hasn't been a correction yet, which I find strange. You would have thought there'd be a correction because that's just fucking wrong. That is not the global take. The global take was $363 million because you didn't count the domestic box office. Look at that. It says global right there. Global includes the United States against a budget of $100 million. Now, again, she's using this $100 million budget, which is everything included. So the initial budget plus all the reshoots and all the post-production and everything. Um, if you look at this chart right here, I can show you that Birds of Prey initially 82 million, Shazam initially 85 million, but the post production, the reshoots, all that stuff included, Shazam was about 100 million dollars. What's Birds of Prey? 
about $97 million. Those are the best estimates we have for those movies. That's what you should be judging it off. But no, in your article, you say Shazam had $100 million, while Birds of Prey only had $84.5 million, wherever you got that number of from. So, CBR, this article shit. Caitlin Chappelle, this article shit. Just letting you know. Suicide Squad, despite earning decent box office, was critically panned. What do you mean by decent? You mean $700 million worldwide? Yeah, that would, I would say that's decent. This is all about framing a narrative for Birds of Prey because she just can't accept that this film wasn't any good. Regardless of the film's flaws, Harley is often seen as one of its saving graces. True. Margot Robbie's performance is so phenomenal that she's one of the few returning characters to Suicide Squad reboot and earned the Birds of Prey spinoff. Earned it! She earned it! So Warner Brothers clearly has faith in its characters, even if they aren't breaking records. So as long as audience seem to enjoy them, chances are these characters are going to appear on screen. That's the case for Shazam, and it seems it will still be the case for Harley Quinn even after Birds of Prey. They keep making this Shazam comparison, but I'm telling you right now, look at this. This is the direct comparison. There is no comparison. Shazam has performed far better than Birds of Prey with a very similar budget. And unless something strange happens, which I don't think it will, Birds of Prey is going to continue to falter. It's already, it only made $7 million this weekend. That's barely anything. It's going to fall even more next weekend, for sure. But anyway. With another stellar performance as Harley under her belt, as well as producing a movie that's unlike any other superhero movie, it would be a surprise if Warner it wouldn't be a surprise if Warner Brothers decided to give Robbie another film. It would be surprised if there was a Birds of Prey sequel. 100 percent I'm telling you that right now. That would be a huge surprise to everyone. Maybe not a Margot Robbie, she's already doing Suicide Squad. But Birds of Prey sequel? No way that's happening. She seems to be on board for it too. Now she's pushing for Harley Quinn to team up with Poison Ivy. But that's not a Birds of Prey sequel, is it? That would be Gotham City Sirens, not Birds of Prey. Birds of Prey also stars several incredible characters whose stories have only just begun. The women behind these characters gave it their all, physically performing outstanding fight scenes. Listen, Harley did amazing in her fight. Margot Robbie did amazing in her fight scenes. Everybody else, not so much. Stop lying. The impression they made may be enough to garner a sequel of their own, or in Black Canary's case, a prequel that will shed light on the clues dropped about her family history. Films that have performed worse financially and critically have received sequels. Birds of Prey is only three weeks into its theatrical run and will continue to make money in theaters for at least a few more weeks. So it's possible a sequel could happen, since the movie's on track to break even. Delivers memorable performance and has pleased most critics. It's on track to break even. So yeah, give it a sequel. Sure. Um, it's yet to be seen if this movie will break even. Most people say it needs to make somewhere between 220 and $250 million globally to break even. I think it'll get to 220. I don't think it'll get to 250. Either way, it's no comparison to Shazam, which was critically well received as well as audiences. And just look at that. You can see that there's no comparison. But maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm insane. Maybe just barely breaking even will be enough for them to get a sequel to this movie that no one really cares about and no one's really talking about. Now, there's a couple people that liked it, and if you're one of those people that liked it, hats off. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I did not like it. I thought it was about a 4 out of 10 as a movie and about a 2 out of 10 as a comic book movie because these characters are just not anything like what they should have been. But ready to move on to the next thing dc wise let's go to wonder woman 84 wonder woman 84 let's see how that is that's something i'm excited for uh and hopefully it won't be marketed using the same mistakes that birds of prey did but let me know your thoughts in the comments below do you think there's any possible potential for a birds of prey sequel god help us all let me know in the comments below smash the like button subscribe to the channel share this video out there ring the bell for notifications and i will talk to you guys later Thanks for watching everyone, and a huge shout out to my patrons, I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.